Well, I think it's pretty safe to say that the heat is really taking its toll on nearly everyone, including our NBC Action News crew live outside Ruskin Heights area. Christina Medina live with the story. Uh, you sweating yet, Christina? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Can you see it? I'm trying to just fan myself so you don't see the sweat. But it is sticky out here, and despite this excessive heat warning, you can see lots of crews out here in the Ruskin Heights still picking up after that storm that blew here days away. Now, they tell us that they've been out here 12 hours a day just trying to do their best best to stay cool. They've got lots of water on hand and they're also getting in the trucks just to stay cool. But we've got a family who lives out here in the Ruskin Heights area. You guys have been watching these people work day in and day out. So, I mean, what has it been like? This is Nicole Williams with us. I mean, it's it's hot. It is absolutely hot. It is scorching, but we actually keep our air on pretty much all the time now. Um, I didn't think I was going to run it as soon as I did, but um, we had to do it. It was very hot. So. And how happy are you that they got the electricity on and going as soon as they did? Oh, that has been a blessing. Uh, the gentleman's been out here working pretty much every single day, and there was people that needed help, and thank goodness uh, Family Dollar and things, uh, other stores came through for them. And we're just blessed that everything is is passed over. And doing what you can to stay cool. So what are you guys doing in the summer? I know you have the time off, but are you outside? <laughs> Not really, because it's like... It's hot outside, so we stay in the house most of the time, but we play outside with some of our friends. So lots of ice, lots of popsicles and ice cream? No, I'll be, I'll, I'll be missing out on the fun because I'll be asleep. Because it's hot. All right. Well, thank you, guys. We appreciate it. And, of course, we thank the crews that have been out here. They tell us that so far they have removed well over 100 tons of debris, but they have still a lot of work ahead. The other thing that we do want to mention is because it is so warm out there today, they have opened up cooling shelters all over the metro. The Salvation Army is doing that, so they will give you a place to come inside and cool off if you need that. Just head over to our website, NBCActionNews.com, and you can check out exactly where they are all located. But for now, we're reporting live. Christina Medina, NBC Action. News.